On Twitter says one of the top New Year's resolutions is unplugging from technology. Nicholas Thompson is here to show us how to get some space from our devices. He is the editor of the New Yorker magazine's website, NewYorker.com. Welcome. Thank you. So what, tell me about this idea of unplugging. Well, the idea is that we have these phones. They're sort of the greatest invention of the last 20 years. They have these powerful supercomputers connected to everyone in the world. They're great. They're helpful for almost everything we do. But the problem is we become kind of zombies and we stare into them too much. We spend way too much time on them. And a lot of people at the end of the day think, gosh, yeah. wish I'd been a little more present with the actual humans in my life, not with my phone. I think one of the more irritating things is people doing not walking while they're trying to read yeah. and don't know where they're going. Right. And they collide with other people and they exactly. get hit by cars and things right. like exactly. that. Right. So I think that's what's really ironic is that we're going to use more technology to unplug from <laughs> our technology, right? <laughs> well, there are a couple of things you can do. So one thing that I was testing at is an app called Moment. And what it does is it tracks the amount of time you spend on your phone and then it buzzes when you spent more than your limit for the day. So you might say, I only want to spend an hour, I want to spend two hours, I want to spend six hours, whatever you think mm -hmm. your limit is. That's it's annoying. <laughs> it's, <laughs> think? it's annoying, but it's also very yeah. effective because it makes you aware of your habit. It's like if you're trying to stop biting your nails, suddenly being aware of when you're biting your nails. And so it's a way of using technology to make you aware of something you want to try to slow down. Are you yeah. finding more and more people want to unplug? Because I feel like like the guy at Parks and Rec. No, send me the nail. <laughs> do you find people really want to do this? I think a lot of people really do want to do that. And I think there are a lot of other sort of simple ways that you cannot unplug, but you can make the devices pull you less in. One yeah. thing that I've done with my phone. Well, well, it, is, like? I, is I've turned off all the notifications, right? So it doesn't beep, yeah. so it doesn't buzz. Uh -huh. So there aren't little badges. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some, like a little yeah. seven above Twitter saying, oh, there's seven notifications on Twitter. Let me pull into that. A lot of it is also geography, moving the phone, for example, out of your bedroom, yeah. right? Yeah. So that you don't check it right when you get up or right when you go to sleep. Use your watch or use an alarm clock. A watch, yeah. yeah. I also set up different <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The thing you put on your yeah, watch. It's a novel <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. We used to yeah. wear those in the 70s yeah. and 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another cool thing is setting up different rings for different people so that yeah. there's a separate ring for, you know, the school pediatrician and my wife and my boss and then everybody else gets a regular ring. So there are a bunch of things you can do to your advice, devices to make them less annoying. What's the most important thing we should look forward to in technology beyond this in 2015? of the new technology trends yeah, coming? Right. Well, the biggest product that's going to be released is Apple SmartWatch, right? right? So yeah, there are right. huge questions about how that will transform the company. And then the biggest change is going to be the sort of the connection of devices inside of our homes, you know, as yeah, our right. refrigerator becomes smarter, as our thermostats right. become smarter, all Nick of that. Nick Thompson, thank, thank you so much. Good to see you.